my channel today's video is my favorite video to film every year and that is decorate my house with me for Christmas I have a huge playlist on my channel of all my Christmas decorate with me videos I've been doing this for years and this year is really exciting because I pulled you guys on Instagram I asked what theme you wanted to see and it's totally different than anything I've ever done before so we're doing a lot more traditional this year if you guys want to go shopping with me i went shopping last week at, at home and target that was the previous video posted on my channel i'll have it up here in a card but basically you get to see the huge haul of everything i bought and kind of see what's in stores if you're curious if you're getting ready to start your holiday shopping check that video out first but today we're going to be decorating we've already set the tree up we have a tree in here, we have a tree upstairs outside of Julian's room, and we have one in our loft, which is like our family room on the top floor. So we're gonna be decorating three trees today. I might even do four. You guys, I'm really gonna go all out. Last year was our first year that we lived in this house, and we didn't have any furniture yet at Christmas. We hadn't decorated anything yet. We'd only lived here for like two months at that time, and we just, hadn't really fully like moved in yet so this year i really wanted to go all out now that we have everything decorated if you guys want to see the tour of everything check out our good to be home tour and you can see all the rooms fully decorated without any christmas decor but i am so excited if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe i also have a website called good to be by alex garza where i post a conjoining blog post every time i upload a video and if you subscribe to my email newsletter, I will go ahead and send you an email every time I upload a video. That way you never miss it because I know sometimes things can get lost in YouTube subscriptions. And follow me on Instagram for daily updates in our vlog channel because we are doing Vlogmas again this year. I think this will be the fourth or fifth year in a row. We're so excited. And this is the new Good To Be sweatsuit. We have so many cute new pieces coming out this month. This one says sweater weather. I have it in a size medium with a bump. And I have the sweatpants on in a size small, but we have so many cute pieces coming out. So stay tuned for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling the time lapse and the Christmas music. I'll do voiceover when we need it, but I think you guys are gonna really enjoy just relaxing, having a cup of coffee or hot chocolate and decorating my house with me. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so here is our living room before. I went ahead and set the tree up the night before so I didn't have to spend all day doing this, but we got this tree off of Amazon. It's nine feet tall, flocked. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know it was selling out fast, so I will check and see if I can link it down below for you guys. If not, I'll definitely link something similar and just everything I show today will be linked with the um, conjoining blog post that you can click on in the description box. But we started off by doing the big ornaments first the statement ornaments and then i layer on the smaller ones after this way you can kind of get a look or get a idea of what the tree is going to look like and it helps if you like add a couple and then back up look at it add a couple back up look at it as you guys saw in the earlier clips we had our step stool and our ladder out so we could even get the top of the tree you definitely don't want it to be bottom heavy and I just kind of go in like a zigzag pattern all around, filling in any empty spots. This also helps if you just feel like there's an area that doesn't look as full. This is our big main tree that you see when you walk into the house and you can see it from the kitchen and all over the house. So I really wanted to spend the most time here. I ended up going with an all white theme, kind of like a winter wonderland. I absolutely love the way it came out. If these clips look a little weird, it's because I filmed them time-lapse style and then I felt like they were too sped up. So I slowed them down a little bit, but they look like stop motion or something. It's crazy. So anyways, then I started working on the garland. I didn't go too crazy with picks or anything this year. So the garland I bought last year, and it's just a plain green garland that we wrapped around the staircase. And I added in some berries, some pine cones, some picks. That way it looked a lot fuller and it had some white so it matched the tree. And then I moved on to the mantle. This is the garland that I've always used. And I'll show you guys how I decorated this. I 
wanted to make the garland a little fuller, so I added some picks. I went ahead and added some leftover ornaments that I didn't end up using on the tree. I love how it came out with the faux fur stockings. It's really simple, but I feel like it's really beautiful and very festive. I love the way it came out. Of course, I had to swiffer everything. Even though I didn't use glitter, somehow glitter ended up all over the floor, but I wanted to make sure you guys knew about my website. I created it over the summer. It's called Good To Be by Alex Garza, and I do blog posts on there like every single week. So anytime I have a video go up, but I also do separate blog posts on there of just things that I'm loving. So if you guys want to see tons of holiday gift guides, like a toddler gift guide and stuff like that, that I don't do on my channel, make sure to subscribe to the newsletter on my website. So here's some clips that I wanted to include so you guys can see what it looks like at night with all the lights on. It's so beautiful and I will have everything linked for you guys. Look at those one little ornaments that light up. Aren't those so cute? Then I headed upstairs to work on this tree. This was from Target last year. We always use it for our good to be holiday photo shoots. This whole tree took me about 20 minutes. It's a small like six and a half foot skinny tree. On here, I just added all the cutesy ornaments that I had, the little cars, any kind of specialty ornaments and Julian loves it. It's right outside of his room. So it's really sweet and cute and he loves looking at it every night. Then I made my way upstairs to our loft. This is kind of like Julian's playroom. You guys, Michael put the tree on totally like upside down. So I had to have him fix it. So once I fixed it, I was trying to set the camera up and there's so many windows in this room that I'm like trying a bunch of different things here. So I think next year I'll film this room at night so you guys can get a better view. But I wanted to do something a little more fun, very traditional and very different for me. So we used all of the red ornaments, white ornaments, and then those like red and white kind of candy ornaments. This tree is just really playful and fun. I definitely want to perfect it next year and add a couple more different things to it, but I love the way that it came out. I didn't spend too much time on this tree either. I am 22 weeks pregnant and you guys, I was exhausted by the time I finished the white tree downstairs. So I have to admit, I didn't like spend as much time on the other two trees, but I still think it turned out really cute. I added a lot of those picks. If you don't have the energy to like go all out with ornaments, picks can really like make a tree look full and make it look like you spent a ton of time on it, even when you didn't. And then also having that like really strong theme of the red and white, it looks really cute. It's so pretty when you can see the tree on at night from outside and see all the lights on. So you guys can see a bigger view of the room. Mark your calendars now, November 13th. Pre-order starts for all of our good to be holiday collection. If you guys like any of the Christmas sweatshirts that I was wearing in this video, make sure to set your calendar so you can pre-order your favorite piece. All right, you guys, I wanted to show you a final look at the tour. If you hear anything, Julian's playing on the coffee table with his cars. But here is the tree. Did I say tour? I meant to say tree. This is the one that I spent the most time on. And like I said, I filmed it time-lapse style because I just thought that might be better. But it turns out, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it would have been better if it was a little more in depth. I love you too. I love you too. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit up close detail. So the tree is obviously beautiful. I love how the branches. You want to play cars? I'm going to play cars. Show me your Christmas tree. Me? Yes. What do you like about it? Good. The ornaments? Good. The white balls? Good. They're called ornaments. Good. No, they're called balls. Okay. So super, super excited with how this one turned out. I think. Yes. Yes, I think it's very festive, but it really fits in with our decor well. It's cozy? That one's a cozy one? Look at, do you know this one turns on? It's a light. 
Wow, isn't that cool? What are those um, little cutouts? Are they Christmas trees? <laughs> Careful. So I went ahead and did all the white ornaments that you guys saw all the way up the tree. I love the different sizes and the different textures, but it's all still white. So cool. Um, and then I went ahead and added a couple of these branches. <laughs> so these are the branches that I bought from at home, but they might look a little different because they had these on them. And I picked them off, like they were super easy to pick off. So they were on like this. We picked them all off and we used them in the garland, which I'll show you guys in a second, but it was kind of like a two for one. And then I just stuck the leftovers in there, but I thought that looked a little bit better with the tree. It wasn't so intense. The tree skirt is old. Let me see if I can, it's so sunny in here. Restoration hardware. I do have this topper that came with that Target set that I haven't put on yet. And then these trees are old from Target. Let me show you guys this garland a little bit. Did you turn these on? Yeah, we were looking at it. Okay, so this garland I bought last year. So it was from last year's video. Do you remember where this was from? Um, it was Potter Bar. Okay, we'll have to look back. But it's just a plain green garland. So what we did was add those little white pieces like I showed you guys. And then I also added these little bits that have the pine cone and the snow. These were little tiny picks from at home as well. And they had the little white berries. And I might even spray that snow. Okay, so this is the little snow, which we, I, I think I should do it. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're getting it on the thing. Yeah, like this is how, okay. So Wait, you get this at Target. It? No, it comes right off. It, you'll have to like redo it next year even, but like that. See how much better that will look? I think I'm gonna end up doing that. But I just did the floors, so Wait, I don't. The paint, the paint won't stay, right? Is it just like fluff? Yeah, it just comes right off. I've done it before. Yeah, mm hmm So that way, if you have just like a green garland or a green tree and you want it to look more, <laughs> this is just real life here. If you want it to look more flocked, get this stuff. You can get it literally at Home Depot or Target or wherever they sell Christmas stuff. And then you can just spray it. Look at that. And it looks more flocked. So, just went all the way up and down the stairs here. And then over here, I'm <laughs> like, Michael's just cleaning up my mess as I go along. Over here. So, I wish I had like a prettier photo to put on there, but I don't pay for the extra pictures. So, this is just the one we always have, but it would be cool if we could do like a Christmas one. So this is the garland that I believe I bought at Home Depot four years ago. I'll try to link something similar from Amazon or Home Depot, but it's just a nice lighted garland. We have it plugged in on the other side, I'll show you. So basically I'm gonna have an extension cord going to the back there so I can plug it in and it comes pre-lit, right? I mean, you can't really tell during the day, but it's pre-lit. And then what I usually do is add in a ton of swags and a ton of I just go crazy with the mantle, but I thought this looked simple and pretty with the tree. So I just added a couple ornaments. The stars were from that big Target set. These wooden like ones are from at home. Again, check out my shop with me video if you want to know where everything's oh, from. Oh, a battery. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. These little pieces are just, it's a one big pick. So I got one there. And one there they're old from front gate so I get a lot of questions about what I do with the old stuff I usually end up using it every year um, and kind of mixing and matching and so we you know we add new and we use old I mix both of it speaking of old these are from Target 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 restoration hardware I got these I think Julian's first Christmas I got all of our initials on it Michael's, mine, Colby's, he has the little bone. I don't know where this is from. I just found it in my box of Christmas stuff and I thought it looked cute so you knew it was his. And there's Julian's. All right, you guys, it has been quite a few days putting all these trees together and getting them all decorated. I am officially exhausted and definitely sweaty, but I hope you enjoyed this video and just had fun hanging out with me while I decorated all of our Christmas trees this year. I think I could do like a full holiday home tour if you want to see like kind of how everything looks put together. I could even do it on IGTV. Just let me know in the comments what you want to see, but I hope you enjoyed this video. You got to see the tree that I did in Julian's hallway, kind of like a little fun kid's tree. 
You got to see the red and white tree that I did up here, which was something totally new for me. And then you also got to see our main tree, which I spent the most time on, and the garland and all that downstairs, the white tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, check out my website if you want links to everything and you want to shop the video. But yeah, I think that's everything. Please thumbs up the video if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. We're going to start with holiday gift guides, so stay tuned. Ooh.